This video is going to show another practical example of the use of the voltage divider which I covered in my earlier video. The circuit uses an LDR as a voltage divider and uses that to turn on a high brightness LED. This is based around an Arduino which I programmed using C++. The Arduino can also run MicroPython instead or you could use a Raspberry Pi Pico with C++ or MicroPython for the same circuit. So this is what I'll be covering in the video. First, a quick recap on the voltage divider and how an LDR can be used. Then, an explanation of the MOSFET switch, which can be used to switch high loads. I'll then provide the circuit diagram, or in this case, it will be a breadboard layout. Then, programming in C++, including how I used the different on and off thresholds to prevent the light from flashing. And finishing with a demonstration and summary. As a reminder, this is an example of a voltage divider. The output is proportional to the value of the two resistors. In the example shown, the resistors have the same value, so the output is half of the input. Increasing the value of R2, the bottom resistor, compared with R1 will increase the output voltage. If we swap R2 for a light dependent resistor, otherwise known as an LDR, then we can use this to detect the amount of light hitting the LDR. You could position the LDR in either position, either R1 or R2, but in this case I've used R2. The resistance of R2 varies from around 2 kilo ohms in very bright light to around 150 kilo ohms if it is very dark. I've used a 10 kilo ohm resistor for R1, which gives a reasonable voltage output based on the level of light. The Arduino will switch on a high power LED light. The one used in this example is from the Pi Hut and is known as a Cobb LED strip light. This stands for chip on board. The light strip has its own onboard chip. This means you only need to provide a 5 volt power supply. There is no need to use additional resistors to protect the LEDs. The LED strip uses around 600 milliamps of current, but the maximum current from the output pin of the Arduino is much less than that. A MOSFET switch is used to switch the LED light. I've already covered the use of a MOSFET switch in an earlier video, so I won't go into detail here. Essentially, a positive input voltage on the gate will allow a large current to flow from the drain to the source. This is the breadboard design incorporating the LED voltage divider on the left and the MOSFET switch on the right. An external power supply is used, which is used to power the LED and is also connected to VIN on the Arduino, so it will also power the Arduino. If you have a USB connection to the Arduino for programming, then I recommend disconnecting the LED strip as it may otherwise exceed the maximum current from the USB port. The code for the Arduino is fairly straightforward and should be easy to follow if you have a little experience with programming in C++. Note that the pins are hard coded in this just to make the code a little shorter. The code basically reads the analog input from the port A0. If the input is greater than the light on value then it sets the output high which turns the MOSFET on. If the input is less than the light off value then it sets the output low which turns the MOSFET off. If you're wondering why I haven't used a single value for the light on and light off, it is to avoid the situation where the ambient light is around the value of that light on value. And a slight variation in the light level may cause the LED to flash as the output is turned on and off quite quickly. So here is the video in action turning the LED on as the light level drops and then off when the light level increases. You can adjust the light on and light off values based on the amount of light you want for your circuit to switch on and off. Thanks for watching, I hope this has been useful. Please subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a like if you've learned something new. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.